Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Harry Brelsford with uh, SMB Nation and Office 365 Nation. This is our weekly webinar. It is August 13th, so totally appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to join us for the weekly webinar. This is kind of a special edition webinar that I'll talk about in a moment. But first, the housekeeping. Um, as you know, be sure to use your uh, the chat feature to ask the questions that you have. Um, we'll answer those as we go along. And then uh, also a couple of uh, things coming up with the, uh, the SMB Nation, Office 365 Nation World. Um, so first and foremost, next Thursday the 20th is our annual picnic, our 15th annual picnic for customers and SBSers and now 365ers and Yammers and whoever, uh, whoever else wants to attend that has ties to the IT community. Um, you can find information on that in today's newsletter that went out a couple of hours ago. Um, you can also find information over at smbnation.com or 0365nation about the picnic. We've literally had people fly into Seattle, coming out to Bainbridge Island, enjoy a little mini vacation um, and participate in the picnic. And boy, howdy, if uh, only the walls could talk um, over the years what we've seen, but uh, we've all grown up and we're, uh, it's now family friendly. So keep that in mind. We have the fall conference coming up October 2nd through 4th at Microsoft Redmond. Once again, a focus on uh, 365, uh, this year also Windows 10, as well as uh, Azure. And I'm happy to announce that, uh, well, I can't announce that, but next week I'll be able to announce um, a unique value proposition for the fall conference. Today we did reach agreement with a uh, stakeholder, and I'll be able to go a little bit broader with that next week. Um, with that said, uh, oh, and, and, and by the way, just uh, put in the back of your mind, we're getting close, close, close to formulating the 18-city 365 tour. Now, that's a one day. That's a different motion. That will start in October. We'll have news coming on that soon. Um, with that said, what's going on today is uh, we're joined by uh, Patrick Houston, our uh, new editor-in-chief at SMB Nation, who will properly introduce himself in a moment. But this is a follow-up to our announcement a week ago at the CompTIA ChannelCon event where we announced uh, a new venture. Um, and so it's biztechexperts.com. That's why we're here. And Patrick, I want to hand the talking stick over to you, sir. I see your screen. Let's get going. And why don't you properly introduce yourself? And what are we going to talk about today, sir? Yeah, great. Thanks, Gary. Um, uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you. Um, I've gotten to know Harry over the last year since we met at about this time um, in 2014, and we began to talk to each other and discover that there were many synergies between uh, my new startup and SMB Nation, particularly uh, Office uh, 0365 Nation. And so uh, Harry and I have started a, a new uh, joint venture that's taken shape in the form of biztechexperts.com. Biztechexperts.com. And we're going to talk about that and show you a little bit about it in a minute. But at the, the focal point of it for this group is that it's a place and a way for you to market with what you already know. Uh, uh, I like to call it marketing made easy for channel partners. Uh, what you should know about me before we get into it is that uh, I've worn this um, the mantle of editor in chief before. Uh, I've been in the tech media space longer than I'd like you to know. Uh, I've been online since the uh, mid 1990s at places like ZDNet, and then I became the editor in chief at CNET most materially to what we're going to talk about today. I also started up the tech channel as general manager, founding general manager at Yahoo Tech. Uh, for the last five years I've been in the startup world, the last, uh, the last couple uh, with the startup of my own. But let's get into it. So is this you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> As Harry and I talk to uh, uh, channel partners, we learn that um, marketing is something that you have to do to nurture new customers, but it's like uh, taking uh, bad medicine. 
Uh, and there's all kinds of reasons why that's true. Uh, you know, interestingly, just this morning I was talking to a friend of mine who is a, a, a surgeon. Uh, 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 he's a, uh, a, 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 a he's a, a, a does specializes in knees, right, and other joints. And even he was complaining about. Uh, the time it takes to market himself. He said, I'm a scientist. I'd rather do my science than market. And I think that's true for most of us. We'd rather do what we have chosen to do rather than spend time pitching and selling. Well, uh, there's that challenge. And then you have a second challenge in the marketplace. And this is true not only of, of those of you who are MSP, CSPs, uh, ISVs, solution providers, or even if you're, uh, you're, you're a vendor. And it really is um, uh, uh, captured in this one slide. We show this to vendors all the time, uh, and they couldn't agree more. In fact, they say the numbers are a little conservative. But the truth in the marketplace is that the window of, for getting consideration in a buying decision is getting smaller and smaller as potential customers do more and more of their due diligence themselves before they ever contact someone from sales. Uh, this is a conservative estimate. By some, it's as much as two-thirds or even three-quarters now of the due diligence that's being done. And if you're not engaging them here, you're in a world of hurt. And that's another thing that our, our uh, biz tech experts is designed to do. Now, uh, we offer a cheaper and easier way uh, to market, as I told you, and it goes to what customers want most. And what customers m want most is the, is, are the things in the end that only a human being can offer. And this is such a, um, a paradox of the marketplace today because people have all these online resources and search uh, at their behest. But in the end, they want those things that only a flesh and blood human being can provide. Now, uh, let's talk about B2B buyers. And you know, Harry, I want to pitch this over to you for a minute because I want you to do a little storytelling. Sure. Um, sure. This is a typical B2B buyer. And Harry, why don't you talk about her a little bit? Yeah, yeah. So uh, this is Jane, uh, a medical technology professional at the doctor's clinic in the P huge sound area. They have 11 offices. And uh, Jane, uh, like all of us coming out of the recession, is probably working three jobs now instead of one job. Um, and she has questions about Office 365 with respect to compliance. So, so Patrick, that makes sense that a, a doctor's clinic, while intrigued uh, by everything we've talked about in the weekly webinars, you know, the economics and the ease of use of Office 365, um, she has some, some very specific questions that she need, uh, need, <laughs> needs answered. Darn it. So meet Jane. <laughs> yeah, and you know, what's true about Jane is what's true about every business buyer in the market right now. Uh, they have this abiding question on their minds. What's the right choice for my business at my size, in my industry, and with my business processes in place, with my other tools, with my other platforms. And there's no amount of content, no number of white papers, nothing that can go to the heart of that question except a one-to-one -one engagement. Right? And who's in the best position to answer that question? Well, it's you. right? And that's what we open the doors to. We open the doors to letting you have a one-to-one -one engagement with a potential new client. All right? And that's why we're introducing biztechexperts.com. Uh, and it's a, a new network. It allows you to engage with customers at a point in the buying process when they probably need you most which is closer to the beginning <laughs> and farther away from the end. 
it does so using the time tech tested technique of just allowing them to ask questions and you offering an answer. It provides that one-on-one -on -one engagement as we said because this is uh, literally one-to-one -one, as you'll see in a minute. And best of all, it takes all the time it takes is for you to answer a question from the comfortable confines of your email inbox. You just hit reply. There's no going any other place. You get the question in your mailbox, you answer it, you hit reply, and you begin a conversation. Now, uh, the best of, best of all, the bottom line here is that what we do offers you uh, what we like to call a hyper-qualified lead. And for right now, uh, we're offering those leads for free to people who join us as founding experts. We're brand new. We're out of the box. Um, we have, a, a, we have a, a small but influential circle of experts, and those are free in, uh, in exchange for participating in the network. Now, why the leads are better? Well, they're better because we give you more than just name, rank, and serial number. The fact of the matter is that you're getting a lead with a question, and the question that comes in from a buyer has all kinds of explicit and even implicit buying signals in it, right? All right. Uh, before we go any further, I want to give you guys a little idea of what's at the center of BizTech biztechexperts.com and it's a smart Q&A platform. Uh, it's based, it's developed, it was developed by data scientists right? and it's based on natural language processing. That means the machine literally understands words and understands words in context. So as a user types a question the platform literally begins to understand it. And as it does, it begins to surface experts, as you'll see in a moment, but only those experts that are best and most relevantly qualified to answer that particular question, right? Uh, once it does, it sends that question by email to those few most relevantly qualified experts who receive it in their inbox, inbox, like any other email, they answer it, hit reply, and it goes directly to the user. All right. Now, it works something like this. I'm going to do a little video demo here. As you can see, as it's being typed, it's calling up experts. It's sorting out experts already. It's also calling up related questions. And if you've already contributed a related question, you get full credit for it. So any, any content that, that you, you submit to us lives on. Uh, if there are no related questions that they want, customer asks for, we ask for name, rank, and serial number and other uh, qualifying information. Bang, once they hit send question, it goes off to you. Now, we're going to talk in a minute about what that looks like, but for now, I want to emphasize one other thing about uh, uh, our platform. This isn't just some fancy schmancy widget and platform that exists anywhere, right? It not only exists within the context, the contextually relevant place of biz tech experts, we are also creating very targeted uh, hubs, if you will. Uh, so one of the first that we've started, because it's so hot, is for Office 365. And so what that does is that people search, they find this page, they see and get expert advice from a place that specializes in a topic. This page not only includes experts, it includes related answers and also content. Uh, we can slice and dice this by in any number of ways. And again, it could be by a product, uh, by technology, or even by a vertical. Office 365 for uh, dentists. <laughs> you can get that specific. Um, yeah, that's right. Now, 
at least Harry Jane Gunn. over at the uh, yeah, at least Jane over at the medical clinic. And folks, let me add a little context. Uh, the gentleman who was the uh, the expert, t t typically a partner, a consultant, um, MSP, now quickly becoming called CSP. Uh, that that gentleman's name is Grant. And so s stick with me. We have Jane, the customer who's a medical technology professional at the doctor's clinic in the Puget Sound area, and we have Grant, the expert. And, and we're going to bring this all together in just a little while. So go, go, go ahead, Patrick. Okay. Now, <clears throat> little nitty-gritty. Once, a, once a, a user, uh, Jane, comes to a page about Office 365, she puts a question into that widget that we saw, it, it jets off to you, and this is literally what you receive. An email with a question and all that qualifying information that I mentioned to you. Now, at this point, uh, you can choose whether or not you want to answer, take the time, right? We hope that you will, and we hope that it's going to be extraordinarily relevant to you because that's what the platform is all about. It wouldn't have sent you the question had you not been identified as being relevantly qualified to answer it, relevantly qualified to answer it. Uh, the other thing I want to mention here is that the machine uh, gets smarter as time goes on. And as you answer questions, it takes that into account. Oh, I should also mention, how do you become relevantly qualified? First of all, when you register, and we'll show you the place where you can sign up. Uh, you put in a number of keywords, and then you, in, you, you put in your LinkedIn profile or the URL to your LinkedIn profile. And all of those, those keywords, if you will, or tags about you are taken into account, uh, plus the system literally uses the content from your LinkedIn profile to identify uh, what you're most relevantly qualified to answer. Harry, I'm not. Hey, Pat, uh, yeah, Patrick. Yeah, yes. I have a question. Um, yep. So Brad Rubin has asked. Uh, I only work with small to mid-sized insurance agencies. By the way, I love it. I I, I love nichers. Um, yep, we could love this niches. work for me? So Brad is asking, with his focus as niche on insurance agencies, could this work for him? I'll let you answer it, then I'll add a comment to it. Yeah, it really could. In fact, as Harry said, we love nichers. And the fact of the matter is, is that your expertise or your specialty would be taken into account as questions come in. Um, the uh, uh, any question asker would identify their industry. We would we encourage them to be detailed in the questions that they ask. So if someone yeah. comes and said, "I'm an insurance agent <laughs> with offices in five different cities," right? Bang. Uh, Brad, you, your name would come up. And, and Pat, the, Patrick, the value I want to add here is um, this is an interesting uh, investment for both of us. A um, couple of things. First of all, Patrick's been working on the intellectual property and perfecting it for, for well over two years. So we're up, we're live, it's, it's real. Um, number two, it's not just SMB. Now, we, we certainly honor and respect the SMB segment in our community, but um, the way that uh, we're going to market, we're going to be able to help you grow into larger accounts if you so desire in the enterprise, government, and education in particular are our targets in addition to SMB. And I know that's not quite what Brad asked, but um, he, he was focused on the SMB, but, you know, uh, I'll, I'll tell you guys, um, everybody's transforming their business models with uh, the new, new, yeah. um, and uh, don't don't overlook one or two cash cows. Those are called large accounts. Um, may, may not be what gets us up in the morning, but, boy, howdy, it pays for the vacations. <laughs> yeah. And, Harry, there's one other bit of color to add to that, and that is particularly with the cloud and all of the cloud options out there, more and more of the IT buying decisions are being handled by not the IT department or IT pros, but the business decision maker. And even in big companies, 
you know, you're, you're getting uh, SVPs in, uh, in sales that yeah. are looking at CRM systems or marketing automation systems. Those are not the typical province of, uh, of uh, yeah. IT pros. Yeah, I can't, can't name names, but suffice it to say I know some, some, some good friends who are uh, contractors through uh, system integrators to enterprise companies in Seattle. One's a uh, significant mobile phone company, and um, that's exactly what you're seeing is, is the power. And, and quite frankly, Patrick, the politics are shifting very, very quickly. Major. Um, Brad, uh, Patrick, quickly, um, Brad, I'll answer your second question uh, towards the end of the webinar about how would an insurance agent find this arena to ask the question. I'll talk to you about our audience acquisition tactics a little bit later. So, so Patrick, uh, where, where are we at? I'm looking at a screen. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, now, this is an email that goes back and forth between you and customer. All right. And uh, the point of this email literally captures the entire conversation. And it, rebrand, it brands you through the entire process. Now, I want to emphasize one thing. While the engagement takes place through email, there's a couple of things. We don't disclose a name and email to you from the get-go. But there's nothing f f uh, during this process that would stop you from saying, hey, we should talk. Why don't you give me your phone number? So that protects users' privacy but you also have access and what, what we want, we think the big win for us is the bigger win for you. And the bigger win for you is to nurture this on to a live contact and then to a, 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 a recurring revenue contract, right? And not, um, well, not only that, but you have our blessing and encouragement, folks. This is the one time you can crash the party, engage in Hallway 101, and solicit clients. We yeah. want you to. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Now, uh, you, you also need to realize that this, uh, the, the, the process here is based on a, on a long-standing and very effective uh, way to sell, market and sell, and it's called consultative selling. Right? And I think it's becoming a truism in the, in the channel that uh, you are being called upon more and more often to become uh, it not not the the fix it IT guy right, but a trusted business advisor, and this allows you to position yourself in that way right from the get go. And as I said, uh, you know the uh, you're branded. And because we are niching biz tech experts, there will be the opportunity over time for you to become identified and showcased as an expert in a particular area. Um, this is another one. Um, we are, every question and answer is captured into your profile on the site. And again, that's another way that you can achieve a touch with a potential new customer. Um, now, the other thing that's very, very important, and uh, I don't know if my, my good friend uh, Tony Moraris is on the line, he promised to be here, but um, he's been my canary in the coal mine. He's actually a best friend and someone that I office with too. And what we offer on BizTech Experts are these free listings for your company. And those listings are also cross-referenced to products that are on the site. And I'll show you that in a minute. In fact, I want to show you that now. Let's just go to a quick little demo here. All right. As I told you, this is BizTech Experts, biztechexperts.com. It's tech buying advice. There are three legs to the stool in serving a user. You can find a product like this one, right? And we have hundreds of them on the site already and adding more every day. 
they can ask an expert through this widget, which is everywhere. Oh, look. Now, that's a, that's a question which I, it's already been answered. I can click on it, and there you can see that an expert's already answered it. All right. So you you anything you contribute lives on. All right. Or you can find an IT consultant, and that gets you to the likes of IT Total Care as an example. Now the other thing, as I told you, this was cross-referenced. So you can see here. We just talked to Kaseya yesterday, Gary. That's right. Great conversation. Right? Yep. Very excited. And they, there they are. They're listed on the site too. Products, find a partner. There's IT Total Care. So, yep. big advantage to you telling us what products you special in, specialize in as well. Makes us very different from other sites that just carry listings, as an example. Okay, uh, in that listing, live one here, best business use, this is your unique value proposition, your budget range, the categories you participate in, uh, the type of, of, uh, of, uh, of business you have, right, and then other information, certifications, even content. Pat, let me uh, let me do a little housekeeping here, folks. It's mm -hmm. the bottom of the hour. Um, it's the weekly webinar. Once again, thank you so much uh, for attending, especially in the month of August. I know there's a lot of uh, competition for your time with both business and, and family and vacations. Um, you know, truly. So, what we're doing today, if you came in a little bit late, is we're explaining a uh, a new a new co that we launched um, last week. Uh, Pat and I are um, both uh, part of this joint venture. It's the two of us. And so Patrick is bringing the intellectual property of an expert system. I'm bringing uh, the, the SMB Nation uh, seal of approval. <laughs> the, uh, the operations staff as, as, as well as uh, uh, people such as yourself, the experts who want to get involved. Um, essentially what we're doing, there was an early storyline that we're going to continue, is, is that we had uh, Jane, the uh, medical IT administrator, medical technical professional at the doctor's clinic in the Puget Sound 11 offices. Uh, Brad Rubin, let's put them up in the M category uh, to, to kind of dovetail with your insurance question. Um, and she has a question about compliance in Office 365, and one of our early experts, uh, he's up there, go find him, Grant Thompson. Grant would answer that question, engage in a dialogue uh, with Jane, uh, and, and with our permission and blessing, uh, ask if, if he could uh, have a, a richer engagement with Jane to become a consultant, you know, and that's entirely fair after you kind of uh, help her with the immediate question. Um, this is a highly scored lead at that point that will lead to a conversion. And uh, a friend of mine who, a uh, friend of ours, friend of the community who signed up early, Lars Anderson out of New Canaan, Connecticut, kind of said it best that as he transforms his consulting practice, um, he wants this. He, he wants a different approach, a digital marketing approach that's dramatically different, which was a pretty big topic down at WPC last month in Orlando. Um, he wants a new approach to acquire customers beyond uh, mailing out a postcard, for example, and then calling in six days and then, and then doing this and doing that. Um, he wants a different approach, and he also wants to go nationwide. And, and then... Patrick, he just wants the money to roll in to his office in New Canaan, Connecticut. Sounds 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 like a, a a good deal. Folks, be sure to use the chat feature to ask your questions. Uh, again, we're at midpoint. Patrick, I'll turn it back over to you, sir. Yeah, and Harry, I only have a few more things to say, then we can really open it up to questions. Again, this is the page. This represents one of what we call our our topic specific pages. Right, and one for Office 365. We have one for Windows 10. Uh, we're going to be creating pages like this 
uh, more and more. And we believe that this really is where the power in the, the uh, product is. Uh, that it allows people to search and feel good about getting to a place where their specific concerns can be addressed over, again, a, a product, a technology, even a vertical, like uh, internet internet taxing or internet taxes, is a good is a great example. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't I don't think we're quite getting into the Uber market, but I, I we, we we can sure work with internet taxes. <laughs> I don't know about the taxi thing. We'll leave that to the people that do that best. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, in that pretty much, uh, oh, Harry, we should address now also about uh, how we're going to uh, sure. grow. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Let me say, first of all, that uh, I have a long, 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 long track history in online media. Uh, I've known for a long time that it's hard to build audiences. Right? It's hard to get people to come to you, uh, particularly because the marketplace is so crowded. So one of the things that we do is take the we take us to them <laughs> for where they are. An example of that is that the widget here, right, which connects uh, users to you, can. Uh, live anywhere. Eventually we can create um, sub networks of experts that may include even you and nine of your peers who want to specialize. Um, Ruben, uh, 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 if you have, um, Brad, if you have uh, other peers in the specializing in insurance, <laughs> you might want to get them together in a, in a virtual consultancy. Right, and that widget can appear on each one of your own sites. Uh, uh, Harry has lots of connections, and so do I, and I have them particularly in big media. We've already tested the expert network uh, in places uh, like uh, Tom's Hardware or Find the Best, um, and That's uh, right. you know friends in a lot of high places that are willing to also use this unique opportunity to provide one-to-one -one advice for their own users in a relative in a, in a uh, um, relevantly or contextually relevant environment yeah yeah so I'll, I'll add to that so uh, Patrick does come from a, uh, a career on the customer side and then I come from a career on the partner side and essentially, this expert network is acting as an intermediary to connect the two, um, using uh, a, a, some some new tactics um, that that so far so good. We're getting really good feedback from the experts. Um, and but one question that everybody has is how will we acquire the customer audience? So um, there's uh, content. So through search, Ooh, um, yeah, the content we have. There's our reach, uh, so Patrick's reach back into the, you know, quote unquote CNET world and the Yahoo world and other relationships you have. I, I have some of those. Uh, we're pretty tight with ComputerUser.com, and we've worked with Quinn Street in the past. So, as well as 1105 Media. Um, so there's some outreach for us, but you know, more importantly, uh, Patrick. What, what I'm excited about is, is using a fairly sophisticated data science approach where um, you, you can actually simplify the story. Let's call it a look-alike. So, so think about this, you guys. Uh, there's probably someone on this call. You don't have to raise your hand, but someone on this call goes up to uh, eHarmony.com or Match.com, okay, for whatever reason. Maybe some life changes arrived or... Uh, life changes never arrived, so it's okay. Go up on Match.com. You uh, have you, you go out on a date. You 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 date. You're you're a you're a nice professional lady, and you date a doctor. Okay, the date goes great. Um, for whatever reason, that doesn't work out. You say, well, that's okay. Um, I like dating doctors, and Patrick, that's entirely fair. <laughs> Um, that's called a look-alike. 
so you would then use eHarmony or Match.com to find doctors in your area to go out on a date. And 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 boys and girls, that's kind of kind of how the game's played. Um, we're kind of doing the same thing here. We're we're saying that we like Jane, the medical IT administrator. Um, what can we learn about Jane? So we can create a look-alike persona, okay, and say, well, Jane has an advanced degree. She has 11 years of work experience. She's this, she's that. And then um, our intention is to then go out to the demand side platforms, the DSPs, of which Quinn Street um, resembles that remark, and buy traffic, okay? And we say, we want Jane lookalikes. We know that we're successful with the chains of the world with our with our service. Um, and so we can do it in a couple of different ways with uh, IP addresses, cookies, real-time bidding, and so on. But it's, it's really fascinating. And if you guys are at all interested in this, um, go up to Wikipedia and, and search on demand side platform. And then some of the hyperlinks that spin off of that um, are uh, like re retargeting and so on. Pretty, pretty quickly, if you so desire and you have the time and you don't want to run your MSP or CSP practice, pretty quickly you can sort of have a pocket MBA in um, the whole digital marketing area. Uh, quite frankly, um, the Bing certification from Microsoft goes through a lot of this and then a lot of the content at WPC hammered on this. So that's how we're going to acquire the audience. Um, and it's, it's math. I mean, it's, it's, it's cool. But that we, we get that question all the time. And then the other question I get um, all the time is, uh, how do we make money? Because what we're, um, what, what we're suggesting to you is that uh, as a charter member, a founding member, um, between now and probably, uh, well, until we make a decision, we have enough founding members, Patrick. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we're a small business, too. Um, I think we're right now, Patrick, are, are we at 50 experts? I, I, I know that we've had some uptick. Yeah, no. Uh, we have about 100 experts now. Aaron. 100 experts, okay. Yeah. So a founding expert will always be grandfathered in uh, to, to the, the situation today. It's, it's a free good for you um, because we need your expertise, and in return you get uh, highly qualified, highly scored customer leads. Um, that will change in, in the future, and there's reasons it will change as we start to behave and act more like a co-op. Uh, what do you do at, at a co-op? You typically buy the membership card but you get benefits for that, blah, blah, blah. That's a whole other webinar, but you'll be grandfathered in on that. Um, the way we make money is, I, I like to think it's akin to national public radio, you know, because we're from the community, for the community, uh, the, the, the business models by the community. So we rely on the generous support of community sponsors and they provide uh, the funding we need to, Patrick, uh, overused phrase, but to stay on the air. <laughs> right. And, and, and so that's, that's it, guys, uh, that, that it's entirely to your benefit. Do the sponsors benefit from the same lead generation? Absolutely. Is that how the game is played? Yes, it is. Is it understood? You bet. Um, but, but that's kind of it in a nutshell. And... All of those are fair questions. In yeah, fact, Harry, I, I have a funny feeling I'm missing something. Why don't well, you, you back Harry, the one, the one thing I want to add uh, is that, yes, we're new. We're, you, no, we're not CNET or Yahoo with that kind of reach. But as you like to say, Harry, we're at the beginning of a 10-year run around products like Office 365. And we are. You know, we've done the we've done the homework and built the foundations uh, for something that we believe is going to last. So um, as you can see by just by clicking around the website, it's 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 not it, it's it's not um, a, an amateur effort. <laughs> No. Let's at least put it that way. Yeah, yeah, no, there's real money. <laughs> 
folks, we're 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 not going to put our capitalization table up on the screen. That that wouldn't be appropriate. But suffice it to say, there's there's a real investment uh, from both Patrick and myself in this, and um, that's what we do. We each and every year we 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 try to innovate something new at SMB Nation. That that Patrick, that be a whole another webinar for another right. day, or come come to my picnic. Uh, get uh, let me get a couple beverages in, and I'll tell you about the startup sector. <laughs> Harry, there's a comment from David Anderson. You want to go to okay, it? Okay, pa yeah, Patrick, do you want to? Can you see that? Do you want to field it? Yeah, um, it, it is a good point, David. Um, in fact, one of the things that um, we're looking at. Uh, well, let's see. So, what, what's David? What's David asking? Oh, for the, uh, David, say, David says here it, 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 see, it would seem the way to win the game here is to have a friend or client ask many typical questions, and the tech partner immediately answers these questions, become the subject matter experts, win the client's projects from other people asking similar questions. Um, look, um, you know. People will game the system, no doubt. But I, you know, the 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 uh, the questions just don't go to one single expert. They go to the most relevantly qualified experts. And so there's there's a little competition here. Uh, we will also get to the point where answers are being rated by users, and we will also want to get you to rate users like Uber does or Lyft. I think that's entirely fair, um, but you know we think that at the end of the day, um, that virtue is going to win, <laughs> have its way, and uh, we believe that the people that are earnest uh, and regular contributors will be those that will rise to the top. Uh, Harry and I are both at a place in our careers where we are building something um, that lasts. Yeah, yeah, and, and so, Patrick, I'll I'll kind of offer that uh, what brought us two together and allowed us to kind of you know consummate this uh, business um, uh, transaction was uh, a commitment to high ethical standards, and and it's the old uh, lending phrase, um, which boy that's scary. That's where I started in IT, so the savings and loan with a uh, Patrick a time sharing conversion of Boulder Colorado but um, the old time old timey lenders said uh, capacity credit and character in reverse order so when he would loan number one is character <laughs> if you know what I'm trying to say that, that that's paramount and I, I we have that in our community that's that's the good thing about the SMB Nation community. Um, I'm seeing it in the 365 community, but good. There's there's good good people out there, and you know, is there a couple bad actors? Of course, but it's it's the exception to the rule. Um, Harry, um, you know, even before I met you, uh, even before you were a twinkle in my eye, uh, we were targeting the channel. And uh, we feel, you know, I've long known about the channel just because I know next to nothing about a lot. Uh, and we believe that the, the channel, all along, I believe the channel is a great source of expertise uh, because um, you guys are one step removed from vendor. And you, most of you offer a portfolio of products, and most, most of you come to it by way of doing the best thing for the client, no matter what. So uh, you, you're in you're in a way better position to advise people than any editor that I know or knew ever was. Let me put it that way. Yep. Hey Patrick, uh, while people are formulating their final questions, folks, we're three quarters of the way through the webinar. We're through the core presentation. We want you to to sign up now. Um, oh yeah, here, so Patrick. You should... Let's we, go there. We probably need to talk about that. Uh, yeah, in fact, here it is. Da well, here it is, David Anderson. David, thank you. He's asking, what is the next step for each of us tech people to join the program? Yes, sir. Yeah, um, what you should do is just go to biztechexperts.com, go to the bottom, and you'll see register now. 
it's a very short form that won't take you long to become an expert it will get you in the system the second thing I would encourage you to do is to list your company and again that's a very short form it's two pages yep. but we'll get you one of those listings that I showed you earlier uh, for the likes of uh, of uh, IT Total Care. Well, and he actually happens to be on the line, Tony. I saw that. Yep, I saw yeah, that. I see on the dashboard. I'm going to unmute Tony uh, since since we have a couple minutes. Tony, if you could uh, speak up, uh, Patrick, I'd, I'd like you to maybe to interview Tony and ask a few questions. So let me right click and Tony, I'm going to make you a panelist. Boy, won't he be surprised? <laughs> Tony, are you game for this? Tony, I need to unmute. That's probably the bigger challenge is can I run the control panel? Tony, I've unmuted you. Don't know if you uh, would like to offer some comments uh, since you're one of the early participants in this uh, Biz Tech Experts. Sir, if for some reason I'm not good at unmuting, um, or you're a little bit shy, that's okay I'm here. too. Are you there, Tony? Okay. <laughs> shy he is not. I guarantee you that. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Pat, what, what, what questions well, do you want to ask? Well, Tony, first of all, uh, you know, what, what I know about you is that you are, um, this is what I'd like to ask you. You know, I've watched you uh, really grow your business, and I've watched as you become more and more um, focused on marketing your business. Yep. And I know you've spent a lot of time and effort and money uh, uh, getting to some of the necessary resources for it. But you've ch you've you have recently talked about how you didn't have the time to stay up on the kind of marketing that was you were. Um, uh, at first trying to do and instead we're looking for a more passive way to market can you talk more about that uh, sure the um, uh, we're we're a small company there's about a, a five of us uh, here and we cater to small businesses in the San Francisco Bay Area providing them IT support needs and I was looking for a way to uh, um, expand my sales and start looking at a marketing activity that's centered around educational direct marketing and that's if you're not familiar with direct marketing that's where you're sending out postcards sending out newsletters you're sending out a lot of direct marketing stuff and then a few days later you call back and and you're nourishing this type of data uh, client base I think educational direct marketing is an excellent way to go if you're a larger company and you have people dedicated to doing that um, we're five people. I, I can't afford to have one person dedicated to uh, following up on leads and stuff. So I needed something that was a little bit more passive. So we did two things. One was we became engaged with um, um, things like Google AdWords, and when we're ready for some more leads, we turn on AdWords and and um, pick up leads from that. When we have enough leads, um, then we turn off AdWords and go from there. Um, Likewise, with the with the, um, uh, the the expert network, we um, when we want to get pick up some leads, we start answering questions under uh, the expert network and start engaging clients. And uh, when we've had um, enough clients that we have to catch up from an operational point of view, then we we shut off that marketing effort and we uh, we go from there. So the beauty of it all is I can turn on and off um, my participant and expert network um, as I wish um, based on the time frame I have at that moment. And so far it's been very successful for me. Great. Very cool. No, absolutely. That's, uh, that's, that's and, what we, that's what we want to hear. Yeah, um, and full disclosure, go ahead. Tony, is a, Tony is a very, very dear friend as well. So, uh, uh, um, well, Pat, Pat thinks that, but I was going to say, and you know, he told me I'm his best friend. Just I know. He'll, 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 you're his best friend. He'll, he'll so, tell anybody you know. you're his best friend, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I kind of felt like I was by the time now. <laughs> Harry, mute him, would you please? <laughs> 
now. So, folks. Folks, last call for questions. Uh, appreciate the uh, the interchange that, that we had with uh, David Anderson and Brad Rubin kicking in some questions today. So last call for questions. I know it's the dog days of summer. Keep an eye peeled uh, above and beyond the BizTech Experts site where we want you to sign up as a founding member. Um, but keep an eye peeled on 0365nation.com, of course, smbnation.com. Uh, we got the picnic coming up a week from today. Patrick Houston will be at the picnic. He's coming up from the Bay Area. So uh, you find that information on the sites at my house down on South Beach. And we got the uh, the fall conference coming up featuring Win 10, 365, and Azure uh, October 2nd through 4th at Microsoft Redmond. Um, I think, wait a minute. I, let me see if the deck is clear. I want to make sure we didn't lose anybody. The deck is clear, so Patrick, uh, go ahead and take us out with a, a couple closing remarks. Um, only closing remark is remember that this is marketing made easy for folks just like you. It's using what you already know to market yourself. This is an approach that's been time tested. It's tried and true. It's meaningful and it comes for the cost of simply answering a question from the comfortable confines of your inbox. So uh, we're starting out now that it's a pretty complicated thing that we're doing because we're creating a marketplace for, uh, for channel partners, for users and for vendors too. Uh, and so you know this is a long-term play. As Harry said, uh, this is an invitation to become a charter expert. So I encourage you to sign up uh, soonest and uh, stay tuned as we grow. Absolutely. So everybody, thank you so much. Have a have a great great rest of week. We'll see you next Thursday up here on Bainbridge Island. I sincerely hope. And if not, we'll see you back for the weekly webinar. Have a great day. Thank you very much. The webinar is now over.